What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this test tool that I have right here. Now the cool thing about this is it actually tests your battery, your alternator, and your starter. So all you gotta do is plug it into your battery and it pretty much reads everything. So I got it all unboxed and it's right here, very small and handy. And the vehicle we're gonna be using today to test this out is the Drift Truck Project. Now the reason I'm gonna be testing it out on this truck is because I don't drive the truck pretty much at all and when I do want to drive it it's always dead so I don't know if the battery's bad the battery's really old or the alternator is not charging the battery so every time I want to drive the truck I always have to jump the battery because it's always dead so with this I should be able to tell if the battery's bad or the alternator and it also allows you to check your starter so whenever you're driving and you can check your starter um, it won't, your car won't leave you stranded you could see if it's good or not and you could replace it before it doesn't start anymore and gives you more headaches and problems. So the first step is you wanna put it right here somewhere where you can see it. Get your battery terminals, put it on the ground. Let me see this right here. And this bolt, I know it looks loose, but it's actually tight. Let me get this right here. And when you do that, it actually starts up right here like that. So right here, right off the bat, I could already see it's telling me to replace the battery, meaning the battery is no good, which is what I expected, but now it's confirmed, so I'll just show you guys how to do this right now. So once you got the positive on there and the ground on there, you hit the OK button, you put your language, mine's English, I'm going to be doing an in-vehicle test, you hit OK, before it charges, and this is a regular flooded battery, um, there's also different kinds right here, you can see. And gel and stuff like that but mine's just a regular flooded so I'm gonna hit OK and this is the cold cranking apps if you look at your battery you can see right there cold cranking apps all batteries have this on there so you can just look on the battery on the sticker and it should be on there I know this one looks kinda hard to see because this battery is really old but it says 525 so we're gonna hit OK and then I already have mine at 525 but right here if yours is at 4, or 515 you can have it right there 550 you can go up it goes up by 5 but Mine is 525, so we're going to put it right there, and then we're going to hit OK, and it's going to test. And it actually does it pretty quick. I'll just let this go for live, and right there you can see 23%. Um, this thing is just really bad. This is the worst battery I've seen, and it's cool because it actually tells you to replace. So if you don't really know much about these readings, you can just look at it, and it tells you, but also pay attention uh, right here. On the top it says 23%. That's how much you know how good it is so uh, obviously right, right off the bat we can see that this is a bad battery and that's probably why I'm having so many problems but now we're gonna check the alternator okay so I try to check the alternator but it's saying uh, it wants a cranking test so that's the starter so what I'm guessing is you have to go in order to check your battery then the starter and then the alternator so what I'm gonna do real quick is just turn it on and it should uh, check if the starter is good or bad All right guys, so right there you can see low, and I did mute the video of it starting because the belt is loose right now, so it's really loud, and I know for headphone users, it's gonna be really obnoxious and loud, so that's why I'm just gonna mute that video. But if you guys can see the belt's moving, it struggled a lot to start it, so that's an indication right there that I also need to replace the starter, which also doesn't surprise me. The truck is really old and has been sitting for a long time, so right there you can see, and it even has the time, um, and everything right there, the bolts it used. So yeah, we're gonna need a new starter. Now to check the alternator. So right there you guys can see that pretty much everything on this truck is bad, which I also, like I said, I expected. Um, I just wanted to confirm. So now with this tool, now I know that I have to replace everything in order for it to be good. I know this is a pretty bad example because you guys are probably like, whoa, that truck's really messed up. But like I said, it is a project and it is a work in progress. So, you know, a lot of people are also going to talk shit on that and say, why are you running it open? I don't drive the truck, I just started it up real quick. No trash is gonna get in there, so calm down. Um, but yeah, 
I will have a link in the description for you guys to pick one of these up. It's actually not that expensive. And like I said, it's super handy. It's really small. And you can put this pretty much anywhere in your car and always keep it with you. And I know you guys might be thinking, I think it's around like 50 bucks. A lot of people might be like, oh, that's a lot, like 50 bucks. But this will actually save you a lot of money because in order to test these things, um, I know your local auto parts store usually checks your batteries, but that's about it. They don't check your whole charging system. And I know most shops charge a lot well over $500 for that. So this is a really handy thing to have. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.